Hello and welcome to another look at another map on our new map first day series and this map is MF Maps Lowry it's by Paradise Strokes Salabuki Stroke the Scubby so it's a joint venture between three modders by the looks of things quite a big download 667.21 megabytes I have added a couple of extra mods on here um, I have added course play and I've added the multi fruit buying station just because the map is it's got a lot going on in it it's got a lot going on in it it's it's a big map um, it's in on the scale of Alma Missouri um, so yeah I just decided to put those in there's a lot to get around there's also a corn drying station which we can just go and have a look at quickly so in your silo you have the option to dry your corn as well so you can do dried corn there you can activate that of course we will try and get around to that and that's one of the reasons why I put the multi fruit station and we might just buy some um, well that's of course if we don't have any any corn in the fields ready to harvest right first things first let's have a look at the map it's the wrong place again right okay so we are here this is our farm here so we own this field here this field here which both look like they've got wheat in them and this looks like a field ready for planting the main area for delivery uh, and productions is up here so not very far away from us pretty much out onto the main drive up to the top of the map and most of the productions are over there there are a few down there and there's another one down there which is the biogas so that is the biogas plant and this one up here is the what's this root cop root cop root crop cell point so yeah, if you're doing your root crops, that's where you're going to sell them. It looks like there's another farm down here. A central map. This little island on there will become... Well, we'll see. You'll see in a minute or two. I'm going to presume that is what it is. Um, I just had a quick look around earlier on and... Uh, yeah. Very interesting. Livestock bale sale point down at the bottom and the livestock farm down there. We'll get up and we'll have a look at those as we go through the map. Right, vehicle wise, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we've got large tractors, we've got two, we've got the 8R, so 458, nice and big, and the 8R280. So that's also nice and big tractor. Only two tractors. We've only got three fields, I suppose. So we've got the Mack truck. Um, I presume that's to pull the trailer. It is because we just saw it as we were as we came in. So yeah, nice big trailer uh, for harvesting. Harvester. Harvester looks a bit small for this type of operation and just the quick look at the fields there but we've got a harvester that's the most important thing this is nice to have you don't often see this so the rubicon 9000 which is a a herbicide spreader and a fertilizer liquid fertilizer spreader uh, the trailer we had a look at headers you've got a nice big header and a nice big corn header which is strange what i mean i think the 
the um, the harvester is able to handle that, but it's only got a 10,000 litre tank capacity. So my feeling is you're going to be filling that up with those size harvests. You're going to be filling those up really, really quickly. Cultivator, nice big cultivator, 450 horsepower. So I think we've just about got enough power for that, haven't we? Yeah. So this, you'll have to pull that with the... Um, 8RT410 uh, Cedar 300 horsepower so you can do that with a smaller one if you wanted to Planter 340 horsepower Fertilizer spreader so We've got a fertilizer spreader but not a lime spreader um, And fertilizer can be Done with Yes, if you were doing precision farming on here, you wouldn't really need that fertilizer spreader. And I would change it for a for a lime spreader, which we don't have. Header trailer for the header, of course. Um, adequate? Um, yeah, it, it is definitely adequate. Right, so let's have a look and see quickly at the what we have storage wise yeah, nice big shed nothing in that one of course the silo system nice and big with the corn dryer um, so we've got the big header down the side here great stuff it's probably going to need that at some time Oh, great looking shed. Let's just get rid of the map for now. Look at that opening up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, so we've got, there's our 410, 8R410. Cultivator, cedar, sprayer, fertilizer spreader and planter. All nice, really big equipment. Tractor's nice and big as well. There's another shed here. You can see there's something in there. Oh, this is... That looks like a workshop. There we go. Can't see the trigger. So there's our 8R280, nice. The John Deere T560i with the corn header on it. Fabulous, looks good. And there is a workstation, at least a workshop here. Oh, look at that, that is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done. Looks great. Love it. So here we've got the 8 R is in the... So that... That is showing up as in the workshop. That isn't. So that gives us an indication of where the... Where you need to park your vehicles when you bring them in for servicing. Um, door there, yeah. So you can drive. So it's a drive-through shed if you want it to be. So you can, you don't need to reverse in. You could drive in both sides. And does this door open? Yep. What have we got in here? the office. Nice. We can go in and have a look at the office. They still, he's still playing farming simulator, simulator 19. <laughs> Should be working there. And it goes back into the workshop. 
we got under the stairs. There's some storage space under the stairs. Yeah. Very nice little, very nice shed. With the roller door going up there. Let's see if this goes. What do we got upstairs? Bit of a storage area. Oh, what do we have here? Place for a nap. John Deere. Should I say it? Is this the shag pad? <laughs> oh dear, did the light work? It opens the door when you try to switch the light on. I suppose that's if you get some extra workers in, a place for them to stay. Anything around there? Yeah, brilliant little shed. But we went over the edge. Um, what do we got here? Water by the looks of things. Not sure. If that's right, but there's the Mack truck with a nice big trailer. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. And we've got our farmhouse down here. Garage. This to the outside. Turn on the shed lights. And this is what I was talking about about bonus cash. Get to Skull Island and there you will find the clue you will need to find the money. Yeah, I think we'll do that as a separate little um, map. We'll go and have a look at Skull Islands somewhere along the line. Sleep trigger. Fantastic. So it looks like we've got stuff to harvest. That's wheat. And let's have a look and see. Growth stage, ready to harvest. Yeah, so we've got two fields ready to harvest, field one and field four. And field 23 is cultivated, so we should probably have to lime that. So let's get the harvester out, get that working. I uh, did put course play on. On this map just so that we could uh, put the harvest on get it going without having to because it's so big I didn't want to spend a lot of time um, actually physically doing the harvesting I want to do the harvesting as much as we can Okay, so that's the first field. Let's go and do the big one first. So there's a river running down... Well, through the farm. So we have to find it. There is a bridge across the river. I think it's down here. Yep, here it is, yeah. I say a bridge it's a yeah I suppose it's a, a form of bridge so you've got uh, the river the stream going through there and down that side there oh we've got the wrong header on so let's turn around and then get that changed
fairly compact yard so everything is nice and close together close to the fields uh, where was our where was our that's down there normal header so let's go and drop off this header where shall we park it maybe at the back of this yeah oh I didn't look at the back of the house look at that let's just quickly go and have a look there it looks like we've got a swimming pool at the house Indeed, an above ground swimming pool. Go for a dip. There we go. <laughs> right, let's get back to work. Right, we'll hitch up the Not sure if we, we need to take the, the header trailer out there. Looks like plenty of room to move. Oh, the connection is on the other side. <laughs> Clever. waiting for people to take shortcuts and to say oh there's enough room to get through we might not have got through there we'll just hitch it up it's not like it's a major issue I remember when I first started I used to hate using headers header trailer should I say because I, I struggle to get the headers to sit on them properly. Be traipsing across the maps, map, get to the field and there's no header on it, just the trailer. Have <laughs> to make our way back and go and find them. Not an awful lot of space to work here, but um, it's a couple of little twists they want to go in the water all right so let's get that uh, unfolded I would would have liked a bigger harvester to to be perfectly honest, but beggars cannot be choosers. You got it for nothing <laughs> when you started the game, you know. Uh, turn on the harvester. Let's get going. We'll go in for a little while and I'll put it on to course play. Is it going to swath? Yeah. Right, there we go. And let's get the course play going. So create the job, field work, course play, nicely marked out, first waypoint, that's all okay, so Y, let's generate the course, Do three headlands, smooth, up and down, generate the course. Took a little while, but there we go. Yeah, nice and easy course done. Why start the job and away it goes. Right, so let's just jump out here. Actually, let's just get into it for a little while. And we'll just have a look at it 
working for a minute or two. early in the morning so you can get the sun in the right area and yeah so the field is pretty big get the scope of the field there so we'll leave that to do its work and we'll go and have a look and see what we need here zero percent fertilized nothing in it needs lime so we need to go and get ourselves a lime spreader so let's get the tracked out and we'll head on up to the shop and go and have a look at the shop area and we'll go and buy a lime spreader, spreader and some lime and we'll get back to the to the farm shall we have a quick look at Skull Island before we do that uh, where is it um, so if we go down let's just do that quickly let's get it out of the way then we'll head up to the for to the shop so if we go down here If we go through this farm, is this farmyard here? Well, this is quite neat because we can have a quick look at this farmyard. So I didn't notice this went off as a farmyard. I didn't clock this as a farmyard when we were looking at the PDA. It looks like an area for pigs. Yeah. So, well, there's them lake over there we'll just hit cross country and there is an island in there oh, this is what I like American maps don't have to be it can be flat but that doesn't mean they need to be tabletop flat you can see all the undulations fairly flat area but the it's not tabletop flat if you get what I mean so I think we may have to get out and go through through the bushes here well this, this so there's something is there an entrance anywhere here? Hmm. I'm gonna walk on what looks like the roof of a gangway. I'll see what happens on the other side. will scoot across here <laughs> and I can see something there doesn't let you through there go for a swim oh, can't get through through there so you have to find the entrance to that 
<laughs> I love this. So there's a way to get onto. So we know where Skull Island is, but we can't get onto it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we certainly be doing quite a bit of swimming in our little yard and in the lake. So that goes into the... to the side here. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Well, we don't want to spend too much time on that now. There's, there's probably going to be a way. We'll find. There's probably a way to find to get into that. That walkway. That's the way I would presume we need to get on there. In the meantime, we need to go and do our a farming work. So let's scoot on down here. We can have a quick look at the other farm. Now, 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 now. Here is something. We are on a, off on an extreme tangent here. Can we? Uh, can't really get onto the boat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's not going to. For a minute, I thought we would be able to row across there. Gonna have a quick look at the farmyard. This farmyard looks like some cars. Presuming gonna to have to buy them to bring up the. Um, have I got the? I think I do. Yeah, I do have the zone markers on. So yeah, you need you would need to buy the land to bring it up. Plenty of storage space. Yeah, so yep, nice little area. Silos. Right, let's go and do what we were going to do. So we now are running up going north parallel to the road that we would have been going up if we did not go sniffing around the map. It's been quite nice that we've been able to just go and look through that. And yeah, we're going to come past the... I'm not quite sure what we're going to come past here now. Let's have a quick look. Seem to have some nice sign signposts here. So this is Clock Brothers Agricultural Services. Can we get open the gate? Yep, we certainly can.
Oh, this looks like a seed purchase place, place for buying seeds and Lime station, liquid fertilizer, seeds, herbicide, solid fertilizer. Yeah. Can't pick those up or anything. I think we'll get them delivered there. But yeah. I haven't seen that for a while on the maps. Lovely big yard to bring your big lorries in to load up. Close the gates for them. And I think this was the root crop. Um, the top here, I think this was the root crop. So let's just have a quick look at... So you can see that the map is pretty flat. But there are undulations as you drive through. So that field is by no means 100% flat. And that makes all the difference compared to some American maps where it's flat and the fields are flat as well. So it just adds a bit of... Um, well, it, I suppose you can say it adds a third dimension to it. Or a fourth dimension. So if we go in here, is this another farm or is this... like a scrapyard of sorts. Certainly a lot of old vehicles. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's the local scrapyard. It's probably more garage. Wonder if you can get repairs done here. Look around. Can't see anything. Can't see any triggers. Doesn't look like it. So we're ending up doing a bit of a it's a bit of a forestry area at the top here. Quick look as soon as we're here. Pretty much at the edge of the map. Can that be bought? Doesn't have a field name. Yeah, but certainly can be bought. Can the periphery be bought? Yeah. Certainly can be. But I guess can't be bought by those things. I think you're going to have to buy that to be able to get onto it. 274,000. Don't know whether we'll get that. Might have to nip in and out and go and take a loan to buy that just to see what happens there. Right, come on. We've got to, we've got to get back to work. Right, so if we go across the top here. So there's plenty of fields, look like all different sizes. We'll have to 
quickly just nip up here and have a look at the beet and sugarcane distribution. So this is our root, root crop storage I think. Every point there. Oh, it does open. Fantastic. Some potatoes. Tip door control. Open. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Sugar cane. Sugar beet, my guess. Yep, sugar beet. What have we got at the back? Nothing. That doesn't look like those are open. Authorised parking only. Wouldn't think this opens. <laughs> yeah, so that's another nice little touch. I'm liking this map more and more as we go around with all these little extra little details. I wonder if this was a could have been a was it an FS19 map? Can't remember. Could have been. Any of it we cut across the top here. See what I mean about the undulations feels raised above the above the ground there. Or oh, not above the ground, above the road. So flat maps, flat, flat, flat maps don't have to be flat. That's what I'm trying to say. They can be flat, but still have a lot of texture to them and a lot of interest in them. Though well, that's a bit harsh there. Right up against the, it, that's maximizing space, isn't it? towards the end of the edge of the map here. Oops. The map doesn't... Yeah. I mean, it's not an, it's not an issue, but... Some map makers would have made that look a little bit better than that, but uh, that's not a map. I'm not going to get too involved in that. Let's get going down here. Right. So the shop is a little way down. It's refueling station, and I think. I think this is your propane filling for the for the corn dryer. So that's quite nice. Right, and then if we go up here, this looks like the train station, Larry Crane. Certainly a place to I 
I'm learning on this map that it's good to read the signs. When using tipper trailers, ensure you are clear of the entrance portals before commencing tipping operation. And so where do you summons the train? Nothing down there. Once again, a large, large yard. Looks like some delivery can be done at the bottom there as well. I presume this is for... Could be used for storage as well, and... Uh, that's where you get it out. Oh, there's the train. It's just scooting past. I think it was a diesel locomotive. It's loading and offloading. Wonder if that's it. Oh yeah, I rent the train. Strange place for it to be that far away. This might be part of the train station. Tuna's big barbecue. How much are they charging? Loaded pulled pork nachos. Ten dollars. Pulled pork sandwich. Eight dollars. The piggyback. <laughs> Lovely. Nice little touch on these type of things. Right, so that's the train station. <sighs> Looked like a diesel train. I think I caught a glimpse of a diesel train. Let's get down to the other end of the train station and see what's there. As I said, lovely, lovely big... big area. What do we have here? And that is... Uh, let's find out what that is. It is... We'll do it this way for a change. Grain mill, grain salt, it's grain salt point, let's try that. Yep, it's the grain salt point. Let's try the silo system, see if it's... That's not it. Let's try and see what the... Oh, uh, Glenwood, that'll be. Not quite sure. Because <laughs> I think that's the grain mill over there. Let's have a quick look on the so yeah so they do show rent train just a little bit off there on the map so that's and up here we have railroad storage silo Railroad storage silo, that is grain cell point, that's the shop. Grain mill, vehicle shop, dairy, 
shop. I don't know what type of shop that is. Bakery. Sawmill. Glenwood. Uh, so that's the delivery to the train. The train delivers to Glenwood. Rainmore. Yeah, so let's go across here. Lest we stop for the train. Look out for trains. Can you see one from that side? Can you see anyone from that side? No, let's go. Dairy. This looks like a fire station. This looks like the entrance to the grain mill. Whoops, bit of a bumpy road in over the. Yep, yeah, 96,000 standard grain mill. Get your flower out and input in. Nice big yard for turning around so you can bring your big lorries in, no problem at all. Big trucks, whichever way you want to call them, lorries or trucks. Right, so we've missed the shop. The shop is over there. Looks like the same entrance to the train station. Yeah, definitely a bit of a bump there. Past the fire station. And if we go into Lowry Green. Okay. I think this is the shop here. Let's pop inside. John Deere. Very modern. Search through the computer. I suppose you get a bit of help there. What is the time? 10 to 2. Standard for clocks. Delivery area. Nothing runs like a deer. That open? Yeah, it does. Delivery area. Trade in. Repair and upgrade. Oh, I like this. This is just a lot of attention to detail here. Oh, the door doesn't open. The door opens. this door open? Um, what is this? Is this <laughs> open vehicle options. Hmm. But you can't. It doesn't look like you can get your vehicle in here. Yeah? Maybe you just park it outside. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just get out. I tracked in, just check that out.
Looks fantastic. So if we put our track in here, we'll hopefully it'll show up on the on the system. So I'm guessing you drop it off there, there then you come back and pick it up a little bit later. Perfect. That works, no problem. Okay, so we'll go back to the front and then we will um, buy our... What did we come here to buy? <laughs> that little trip around. Um, we came here to buy a lime spreader. That's what we came here to buy. So let's go and have a look for lime spreaders. And have stopped at the pub on the way here. Yeah? Right, uh, let's get over here. Uh, lime sp spreaders. Where are we? There you go. So we'll get the big one. Put the extensions on. We'll put the spreading discs on as well. There we go. And we'll lease that. 4,500, that's not cheap. Didn't have a look to see if we could go upstairs, if there was anything upstairs. I don't think anything is going to open here. Yeah. Nope. We'll leave it at that. Let's get back to the farm. We've got to go and do some work, man. report some uh... well what we'll do is we'll, we'll traipse across quickly to the to the um, seed and lime, lime shop that we passed on the way up We'll go and fill up some lime there. I think we will get a lime station on the farm. The fields are big, can't be spending most of our time. So this is the shop to deliver, I suppose like the supermarket and the bakery. We missed that on the way through. And just across the road here is the sawmill. Bit bumpy. We head on down here, and then back to the bottom end. There, we'll be able to go buy some lime at the lime shop, or at the seed shop, or the. Agricultural supply shop. It's quite a nice touch that it that you can get it. You don't have to just get everything through the one store. I will come back this way so that we can go back down the other road to the farm. There is no way actually to cut across unless you go cross country and through people's fields. I think coming up here to go and buy your lime and your seed and the quantities that you need for it you would have to 
just to buy it in fairly big well in bulk basically just to make the trips worthwhile so that you've got stock on the farm or as I said you could buy in you could put up some some silos on the farm some sale points on the farm purchase points on the farm should I say so I think this takes just under 19,000 litres and if we can fill up on the side yeah, we'll try <laughs> 